In the last video, we set up all the hardware for the robot and used a PS4 controller in tank mode where the left and right joysticks were controlling the motors. Today, we will change the controller configuration to arcade mode, where the R2 here moves the robot forwards, the L2 moves the robot backwards, you can even control the speed with R2 and L2, and the left joystick is used to turn. There were no changes in the hardware of the robot since the last video. The only change is in the source folder. We have now two scripts, an example of how the arcade mode works and the main script for the robot Mark01.py. This main script integrates both tank mode and arcade mode. To do this integration, I create a new package called GusBots and a new class called Joystick. I will do a code review at the end of the video explaining the main aspects of this code. But first, let's download the project folder in the Raspberry Pi with the command git clone minus b v2.1 and the, the project uh, github link. You can find this command in the description. Make sure that you have the, the latest, make sure that you copy from the description so you have the latest uh, code. Now pair the PS4 joystick with the command sudo ts4drv and hold the share and ps buttons together until it starts to blink. Make sure to watch the previous video if you need help installing the dependencies. Okay, so after the joystick is connected, go to the source folder and you can see the video 2 example and the main mark01.py script. First, run python3 video2 arcade mode.py. This script is an example on how the arcade mode code works. You press R2 to go forward and L2 to go backwards. You can use the left joystick to turn the wheels in different speeds and make turns. So that is a good simple script on how the arcade mode works and it makes it easier to analyze the code. Now let's stop the script and run Python 3 mark01.py, which is our main software for the robot. At start it behaves the same as the other script, but this one you can change between arcade mode and tank mode pressing the touchpad. So mode here one means arcade mode, so you, you have the R2 and L2 to command the motors, and the, the joysticks don't do anything. If you press the touchpad, now it changes to mode 0, which is tank mode, and now you can command the, the motors using the, the joysticks and the R2 and L2 don't do anything. And then you can switch back to, to arcade mode pressing the touchpad. Great, um, that's, that's the two codes that we have for this video. Now I'm gonna do a code reveal for Mark01 script. And the first thing that I want to say here is about this new class that I created here, this new package. So you have this GusBots package with a, a class called Joystick. This Joystick will actually integrate both the arcade mode and the tank mode on it. So the first thing that we do, we just import this class, then we initialize the motor head, initialize Pygame, because we're going to use the Pygame for the Joystick, and then I call show available from joystick to show all the joysticks in the system. Usually you just have one so the index will be zero but you can check how many joysticks we have with this command. And then I create a class, an instance of this joystick here with my joystick.create and I pass the index of the joystick which is usually zero and which mode you want to start with. We can always change the mode pressing the touchpad 
But here I'm saying that I want to start with arcane mode. So I create this joy here. Then I have some global variables. Uh, initialization. This is from the previous video actually and it's not used anymore so probably I will delete this line later. And we have a clock, a create a clock from Pygame which will control the loop, uh, t the timing for my main loop here. So my main loop is pretty simple. Right now the, the, the joystick class has um, um, a function called tick that will read all the, the joystick. So I call this tick and get and it returns the left and the right uh, commands for the motor. So I just take this left and right and associate to the motors that I want to use it. And then I just print all this. I print which mode it is and I print the, the command for each motor. And this this goes uh, 20 frames per second. So right now it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a very simple and all the logic for the joystick now it's embedded in this class here. So that's it. Thanks for watching.